There are a lot of special rivers in the southeast, and depending on which ichthyologist you talk to, you're going to get a different answer. But all of them share a common thing, and that's free-flowing water and a pretty good natural environment. The oceans are vast, and you would think that most of the fishes in the world would be in the ocean, but almost half of them are in fresh water, even though it makes up less than 1% of the water on Earth. And that's because there's just so many different habitats in fresh water. We just have an incredible amount of aquatic biodiversity on Earth in our freshwater systems, and a lot of it is in our big rivers. Here in Tennessee, the big rivers are the Duck River, the Clinch River in Alabama, the Cahaba River and the Paint Rock River are totally awesome. Georgia, Tennessee and Alabama share the Conestoga River. It is truly amazing. Big South Fork of the Cumberland in North Tennessee and Kentucky. It is totally awesome too. So there are just a lot of these gems scattered throughout the Southeast. And they're the relatively large free flowing rivers that usually go through different kinds of environments, which allow them to have different habitats and have a whole bunch of different kinds of fishes and mussels and snails and all the other cute aquatic critters that are out there. When we think about some of the main watersheds of the southeastern United States, the Mobile Basin, the Tennessee, the Cumberland Rivers, these three watersheds make up about one and a half percent of the land area of the U.S. and Canada together, but they contain almost half of the freshwater fish species. It's just incredible. And every time I think about it, every time I look at the maps that showcase this, I get a little chill and I get excited all over again about working where we do. The rivers in the southeast are incredibly healthy and probably healthier than they've been in the past 150 years. Thanks to the Clean Water Act of 1972, for over 50 years, we have had government regulations that work to help keep our rivers healthy for the future. At the same time, though, that's not something we can take for granted. We know that there's always more that we could do to leave our rivers in even better shape for the future. For our rivers, it's just important to know that, yes, there's a lot of water, it is abundant, and yet at the same time, we have to be thoughtful about how we use it and how we return it back into the river to make sure it's healthy for all those animals beneath the surface as well. One of the first things I hope people do to help safeguard rivers is simply to enjoy them. You see river walks like in Chattanooga all across the country as people are realizing that the river, it's not a sewer. It's not something that's just carrying our waste away from us. It's a really important vital hub and can provide the heartbeat to a city. These rivers are running throughout our lives and just having vision, just looking at that river is an act of connection and a reminder of how important these waterways are to us. The more people we have out on the river, canoeing, paddleboarding, fishing, whatever it may be, the more our legislators see people using this incredible resource and realizing that we do need to protect it for recreation uses as well. In addition to things like that though, we have the Tennessee River Rescue happening here in Chattanooga the first week in October with a big event on Saturday. That is where a lot of community members come out and work together to get trash out of our river and back where it belongs safely disposed of. It's really important to remember that these rivers are fed by all of these smaller streams and creeks throughout the landscape. And so simple changes that we might make around our households actually end up protecting the river itself. When rain is running across the surface of the earth, it has a lot of energy and it can pick up anything it's in contact with and carry it installing a rain barrel or working to make sure that trees and shrubs are planted with good roots that are holding dirt into the ground. We're doing anything we really can in order to hold water at our house and not let it run off is one of the most important things homeowners can do to help protect rivers. Rivers are incredibly important to us as humans. I mean, water is life. This is something we know. It sustains us. It nourishes us. We have to have fresh water. We have to have clean and healthy water. 